Peace, everybody. What it was, what it is, what it will be. Urban Monk in the temple. And if you like entry into the temple with me, all you got to do is hit the subscribe button. Now you can like and you can unlike and you can leave comments. But once you hit the subscribe button, man, you are now a part of the ever growing family of monks right here, man. And if you have any requests or suggestions or information regarding any of the groups that we review here, all you got to do is hit me up. Temple of the Monk at gmail.com. That's Monk with the Q. Temple of the Monk at gmail.com this month with the queue. Also, don't forget, make sure you sign up at the website. Sign up, man, for the forums. Link is in the description. Let's go down there, man. Put your name down there, put your address. Don't put the social security number, whatever you do. Cause you know, I could use the extra taxes, but you know, that works. And also we do have a Patreon account. You are welcome. If you would like to support this channel, man, feel free. Link is also in the description for that. Now we're going to get into growl. This is what happens to be a Beauty and the Beast 2013 Mama Joint. Now, it's Mnet, so you know, what, the, you know what, what, what might happen, but we're gonna see if we can do a little trickery around here, okay? So I, oh, I said I'm gonna save my talking for the end because I tend to talk a lot, although I may talk during, I'll, I'll do maybe some pauses during the video, so we'll leave it at that, but this should be pretty good. I meant to add this, again, I didn't add this, not meant to, but I didn't add this to the growl um, review that I did because I didn't want any issues with Mnet, but if there is a problem, remember we will upload this onto the website and also onto Patreon. Should some of you had trouble with the website, Patreon is also available. It's only a dollar, but that's the last resort that's like the worst case scenario if you can't see it if you're dying to see it on there um again we we welcome any support regardless but we try to avoid the support coming from the videos we just want that to be just something you know on the side of this because we do things differently we can we we can uh like i said if there's ways to <laughs> if there's ways to contribute it's not going to be me having you do that all right so let's go ahead and get into this growl beauty and the beast version man y'all know what's going down if you're ready i'm ready we're already right let's do this kaja Alive. It doesn't say it's alive. Well, then again, it just says Beauty and the Beast. Oh, at the Mama, is this the award show? Mama Awards or Mama? Oh, live from Hong Kong, Mama. Okay. I've heard of Mama. I just don't know exactly what it is. So, and if I do pause a lot, remember this is an Mnet joint. So I am going to be pausing to hopefully prevent it being, from being blocked so you guys can view it. And like I said, if it doesn't, it'll go up on the website. If that's a problem, Patreon is our last resort, okay? So let's keep that in mind. The reason why I pause is for very specific reasons. Either it's because of that or it's because I have a particular point I want to get across that I don't want to say for the end of the video because I might forget. So, but you guys know how we do this, right? Okay. What is that? I'm so, I gotta look because I always think I'm gonna miss something. Okay, it just looks like a pile of just stuff. Wow. OK, 
Okay, so what's gonna happen is, because I, 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 Beauty and the Beast, I know you guys probably know more about what's going on here than I do. And I know there's a concept, I don't know if this is part of that particular concept we're talking about, but um, I know of the traditional Beauty and the Beast. No, oh, sorry about that, sorry microphone. I know about the traditional Beauty and the Beast thing, but this might be something you guys have to educate me on. So just make sure you, make sure you, um, Educate your boy. Wow. Hold on, I like this. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love, anytime I see something like that, you might get two or three rewinds in it because as an old school b-boy popper, I just love, I love dancing, man. I love dancing. I just recently, it's not edited yet, but I did a, I did a review on um, Paris Goebel, you know, of, of Royalty Crew. I love, that is probably my favorite urban dance crew that I can think of. And then of course there's Kinjas, there's uh, Jabba Walkies. I mean, there's every, there's Rock Force crew, of course. Those are my boys right there, man. Paul Ski and my man Icy Eyes from Alaska. So, you know, I'm gonna pause. <laughs> I'm gonna do a lot of rewinding during dance steps because I just love, I love, and I, I mean, choreography in general, but I just love to watch that stuff. Those elements drive me crazy. The guy just looks into the camera. Look at <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's the girl. That's I'm not grooving like I was during the other videos because I'm concentrating on what's happening on this video. Because, you know, this is a, a concept right here. And so I'm trying to pay as close attention as possible. So if you don't see me grooving, but trust me, when my parts come up, I know, I don't know, I might even rock this twice just in case. Here's my part. So I, I don't know if I ever make too much mention of just camera panning, angles, one shots, man. But it just, cause like, like I said, like once my wife bought my first camera, like as you see, like I try to get the blurry background, certain lighting techniques that I'm trying to um, learn from YouTubers and create my own and just different things, different contrast and you know, color schemes and whatever, you know what I mean? And so I've, and I've always been into that, especially because I'm an action movie fan. So pyro, everything, you think about it, I'm like, oh my God, like how do they do that? So when, even when I see it on something like this, it's gonna grab my attention I'm on it. Like it's just, it's insane. I love this stuff, dude. I just love it. The, and I don't know how they practice it. That's another thing I would definitely like to see behind the scenes of EXOs. I know they don't get a lot 
I've, I've heard Anitra mention this, how XOLs don't get a lot of that vaccine material because of the way uh, SM is with that, you know, a little stingy with their stuff. So, you know, it's all good though. I like the way, and I should have made mention that. I'm gonna go back on that. I like the way they do that. The camera is the girl. I always love when they do shots like that. You don't see, I, I, don't, I don't remember seeing many videos or anything like that that will portray the camera as being the person that they're talking to. And so it, I, like, I like the way that concept. There was a movie and I believe the dude who started that particular, I don't know if he started it. I, I won't say that because I might be wrong. The first time I've seen it was on YouTube where the guy was doing like um, a live version of Call of Duty. You ever see that? It's, if you haven't seen it, you need to look it up. If I can find it, I'll put the link in there. If I can find it, if not, you're gonna just have to search. But it's a live action version of Call of Duty. It was the first time I ever seen it. And then they start implementing, I, I've started to see it in movies like, um, Assassin, what's the one with the female assassin? Um, John Wick 3 did it, but it was, I it was seen before that. In a motorcycle scene, it was a one-shot motorcycle scene with the dudes with their, with their swords out. I can't remember if it was on a Kill Bill joint, but I've seen it before. Like I said, I've seen it before that. But in John Wick 3, you could see him in the motorcycle scene where he's fighting these dudes on the joint, and it's a one-shot. But And the in, in the assassin joint, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a female an assassin joint, it shows an angle where it's like, she's actually the person in the camera. Uh, she's at, the cameraman is actually her fighting the dudes on the motorcycle. It's the dopest concept I've seen. But again, if I see the link for that other one, I'll show it to you. But I like that. I like the way they do that, where the camera plays the actual person. You can see them just the This is, wait, is that even in the original joint? Oh, this is extra. Oh yeah, this is some extra shit right here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. My man Dio. So Dio, even in the video when they do that, pow, that head pop, Dio just hits that shit like he is ready to cause an earthquake. Oh man, don't traumatize yourself, boy. That's <laughs> gonna be fatal. Hold on, I missed that. Watch the stages especially when you got all 12 of them and I'm used to seeing them like on a large stage you got 12 of them on the stage plus the cameraman panning around during choreography split 12 full 12 like oh man it's just like the wildest 
like I, it, it's like you gotta practice choreo even with your cameraman. Like I would, I gotta see background. I gotta see back scene. Uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? behind the scenes of these, man? I would love to see how they was doing this. And then to be able, again, that's another thing too. You got the crowd there. It's not like this is done in a rehearsal studio or a studio in general, you know, for just to view. You got fans out there too. So you have to focus not just on the cameraman, but the fans as well. Like, I can't, I can't imagine. Like, you, I mean, it, to me, it's like this. For them, it, this is why I say, there's not gonna, there's hardly gonna be that I've seen. I don't think there is a K-pop group that I do not like, even if the song doesn't appeal to me. I've said that a thousand times. I know you guys heard me say it, but we got new people in here too. <gasps> and they need to understand. There's not a K-pop group I don't like. Reason, one of the main reasons why, and, and or not respect, one of the main reasons why is because all of the work, like if you don't even like the song, if I didn't even like this song, which is a lie if I told you I didn't because it's so fucking dope, but if I didn't like this song, I would still be able to appreciate the, art, the, the artistry in this. Because I mean, the, the, the fact that you can, I, I'm just thinking because I don't concentrate very well. Sometimes you can ask my wife. <laughs> it's just I can't. So when I when I see that, I'm factoring all of these things: the crowd, the cameraman, the small stage, the choreography, and like just and the one word sums it all up, and that's comfortability. Like these people, these guys, and all these groups, they know their moves so well. That it's like muscle, it's muscle memory. Like it, it, ha, it can't be anything. I mean, well, it could be other things also, but I, I just think of the 16 hour minimum <laughs> dance practices that they have and just like how much work they, they put into it, man. It's not like they practice for a few days, say, oh, I got it. And then, you know what I mean? It's sloppy and whatnot. Like they are precisioned. <laughs> Wait, who is that? Wait, so you know, anytime they fly, it's, it's got to be somebody that obviously is either their label mate or something. Even the guy back, even that dude back there. Like, they got to be label mates or something because the camera stays on them too long. So I don't know who this is. They look mad familiar, though. They look crazy familiar. I just don't know who this would be. They gotta be SM artists, so who's SM besides EXO? Red Velvet, right? Red Velvet is one, am I wrong? And I wonder if that's it. I wonder if that's Red Velvet. I might be wrong, you guys tell me, but they gotta be somebody. And this dude right here with the, with the gray, oh, is that, gr is that gray, the rapper gray? Or is that just what his hat says? Is that Gray the Rapper? If that's Gray the Rapper, I wonder if that's Red Velvet because I remember Gray rapped in Red Velvet's joint for natural. So, no, wait, was it Gray? No, I'm sorry, never mind. I got that mixed up. He didn't rap. It was, that was another dude that was in, in natural. But Gray, I know, is a rapper that was with, um, he rapped with Helen from Sistar in Dolly Dolly. So I wonder if that's him or if just the hat says Gray. And I don't even know if that says Gray. I'm trying to make that. I'm trying to see if that's a G or not. Anyway.
tell. <laughs> Just like you. What? on the comments. Wait, who is that? Okay, look at, they look like, you know, <laughs> look at dude, he looks like an assassin. I don't know who that is, but he looks slick. Like he needs to be in a movie if he's not already. I would cast him just off of that look straight both of them like that's the boss and that dude is the the hitman <laughs> i don't know who it is but it's uh, I, i've been a man i've been into asian culture too long because i started just going like yeah i wish i was like a movie director or something like i don't know maybe in the next life look at him show it like There it, is. there it is! Get out! They threw the tree in there. Look at that beautiful. Yo! I'm not gonna touch it because I'm <laughs> starting to miss something. No, this will not do. This will simply not do. Look at it. That's the first time I've seen the entire... Well... Yeah, because that's the crowd there. So this must be the back end of the tree right here. That's the first time I see it. I always wanted to see how they all lined up like that. And that's not even all of them. Right? That doesn't look like all of them. Okay.
the graphics. It looks like arteries, what? Right? Looks like arteries. It's weird how it's dope how it goes between them like that. what I expected it to be. That's a lot more than what I expected it to be. A whole lot more. I, all the extra stuff, but then again, like on lives, I should always like keep the mentality that there's gonna be some extra stuff in there. There's gonna be some extra stuff in there that I'm gonna be surprised by. They're always gonna have some like, you know what I mean? Some bonus treats in there. So that's the dope joint about it. That's what's dope about it, is to be able to like see that extra stuff. And I, I don't even, if I go back, it says Growl, Beauty and the Beast. It doesn't even say that it's going to do uh, Wolf, unless it's somewhere in the, in the Hangul. Is that what you call it? In the Hangul characters? So <clears throat> I thought that was dope, man. I thought that was dope. And of course, it's always good to revisit that song, man, because I like Wolf. Um, Probably not one of my favorites out of their joint, although I love the video, probably not my favorites out of all their joints, but still, nevertheless, whatever EXO performs, I want it. So I gotta appreciate, you know, that's very appreciated. So dope, man, I'm glad, I'm glad I remembered that I had to do this because I had almost forgot that I had to do this. But I'm also glad I separated because I wanted to make sure that I separated it from the video in case there's blockage. If there's no blockage, cool. If there is blockage, website. If website is a problem, Patreon, which again is the last resort because I do have people who do not, who may be underage, whose parents will pretty much don't feel comfortable about letting them um, sign up or pay for any kind of Patreon thing. And I don't blame you, I'm a father of two, so I understand. Um, that fully and there's adults also who can't necessarily or don't want to necessarily have to pay to watch me watch a video that you can watch without me watching it so <laughs> I get I get it you know what I mean and and again the patreon is there if you guys want to support but by all means I don't want to put content up there that you can just watch so I'm trying to think but uh, I got it I'm gonna upload it on patreon anyway at the at the most it's a dollar um, a month I will upload content there. That's if you can't see it on the website. Uh, I'm gonna try my best to get, get, I don't know if you can even do it for free, but at the most a dollar, because I mean, that's the best I can do as far as that. I'm gonna try to think of some other routes also. Um, and if I can, yeah, I'll let you guys know, maybe Vimeo or something like that. I don't know, um, something where I don't have to, worry, have to worry about coming out of pocket because remember we are quarantined, we're prisoner to the pandemic. So um, 
Other than that, dope. Um, I, I, I can tell you guys now, I mean, I, I, the reason why I love doing this mainly, it's not even about, I mean, I can't say it's not about the subscribers. Of course it is. I would be lying if I said it wasn't, but it's not about the count of subscribers. The more people that come in, of course, the more the merrier. But it's the interaction, like, because you guys do so much. I mean, you know, everything from comments to your suggestions to your requests, your concerns, not only about the music, but like people who are like, yo, I hope you and your family are safe. Um, I had put something out regarding um, content that, hey, I'm gonna get content out, but remember, you know, I, I also have a life here. I wasn't trying to be at all, I wasn't upset or anything or trying to put that out there to blast anybody. I just wanted to let you know that things were in the works, but because things may be going at a certain pace is because, you know, um, I'm home. I, I help my wife out as much as I can, make sure the kids are doing what they need to do, make sure they're occupied. And so, you know, those things and people just, you guys, man, are just like, I, I can't even express. Like, it, it, it's not even, a, the, the, the fact that you guys are as interactive, interactive as you are with me, and I am about 80% interactive with you guys, at least. I would hope to think so. It, when, when I'm doing so much, I find myself not as interactive as I would like to be because I'm trying to get content out and, you know, doing my thing in the home. So. Um, actually, I got three kids, my two boys and the dog. So um, it, it's, you know, it's just good. I remember, I, I, I'll tell you right now, like I, I got two emails. I'm not gonna say from who or what they were about. They were personal emails, but people who had shared their lives for me, I think it was because I, had, it might have something to do with when I said, you know, what, what my career is, and that's working with people who are disabled, mentally dysfunctional, or dealing with mental issues or, what it, whatever it is, you know, um, bed bound. I've had people like literally I'm there and the next day they're gone. So to hear that people are going through stuff, man, it hits me. You know what I mean? Uh, when I get these emails, it hits me. The good stuff hits me. The emotional stuff hits me because I've built like a connection with the subscribers, man. With, and that's why I call you guys my monks. Um, you don't have to call yourself that, but <laughs> some people do. Kyung Soo, Kyung Soo. <laughs> That's the cry. If ever you see monks in the temple, I always know. Like my wife was like, she said that one day. She goes, "Oh, somebody wrote monks in the temple," and I said, "Is that King? Is that Kyung Soo?" She said, "Yeah." I said, "Yeah." That's the war cry. <laughs> Kyung Soo always. I said it a few times, and then Kyung Soo just took it there. So that's like the war cry of the of the channel, man. And um. It's good to see everybody come together, no matter what fandom you're with or anything like that, no matter what country you're from. And, you know, I, I had to say that at the end of this. That's why I learned to talk at the end of the video. So if you guys didn't want to hear all of this chit chatter, you could just go ahead to the next joint. But I just want to let you know, we, we appreciate you. Got my wife, too. She's just like, man, you know, it, it, it's dope. And she's like, you got to keep going. You got to keep going, man. They, you know, they love what you're doing. Just keep doing it. Keep doing it. And I talked to some people on the emails. That's why I like when you guys email me, because it's a lot easier to keep track of. And if I ever forget something, I can go back. So, um, and people remind me, I have no problem with, let me tell you something, I have no problem with you guys reminding me of stuff, please, because now we're at 4,000 plus uh, monks in the, in the temple right now, which is 3,500 more than what I had six months ago. And I know we got XOLs in the building, I know we got Showalls in the building, we got Starlights in the building, we got Army in the building. You got, and, um, and citizens in the building, everybody's there, and yet you guys hold it together. Like, I, 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 I don't know what to say, you know what I mean? I really don't, man, other than, like, you, when I say you guys are appreciated, I mean that shit. I'm dead serious. Um, and so, you know, I, 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 I lost, I'm lost for words right now. So, um, just, I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing, um, you know, and, uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. We got a lot more more stuff coming. There's gonna be um, I'm, I've got you know other content coming geared towards this, and at the same time geared towards other stuff. Maybe appealing to some, not to others. Um, I, I'm gonna have a series coming up. Yes, I'm still doing behind the bars, but and a lot of, uh, you might see the rap lines go into there. So if you don't see them in any of the other 
uh, groups series, you'll probably see it in Behind the Bars series where I basically showcase rap stuff. All right. Um, and I think that's pretty much what I got. Um, what is it? Hey Monk, which is basically you guys Q and A every month. You guys just email me questions, man, or um, I might put it actually in a community that way I could keep track of all the questions. So each month if I say, you know, okay, y'all, it's Q&A time, you know, and I, the, that series or that, um, that show or video or view will be called Hey Monk, where basically I answer you guys' questions and it'll be a little humorous. So, you know, I, I want to connect with my people, man. I want to have fun with you guys, man. It's not always about just watching these as much as it is. And you, and you can ask any question you want, whether it's about K-pop, anime. Um, you guys know me. You know anime, movies, action movies, K-drama, K-pop, hip-hop. Ask the questions. Do you want to ask about my personal life? As long as it has nothing to do with what me and my wife do behind that wall, then we're good, okay? Other than that, man, you know what's up, man. So subscribe, like, share, leave the comment below. Let's grow together, share knowledge, and build community, man. And until the next time, I'll see y'all. Peace. Spot, getting plenty props cause I'm weak Cali any hot till my body rides it ain't running up I spray them down like the body shop finger bang just get with four fingers like karate chop I'm bragging more than you imagine to the non-factors and sagging cause we still getting spelling everything backwards sometimes I forget lines like gold-plated actors so I guzzle a 50 act till I regurgitate